Welcome students. Again, today we are going to discuss about different uh, demographic measurements. We finished fertility, mortality, and migration measurements. Uh, today here we are talking about different other measurements which we have not finished. So let's see. In other demographic measurements, we will cover here RNI, rate of natural increase, PGR, population growth rate, PDT, population doubling time, DR, dependency ratio, and XR, sex ratio. Okay, so first we will uh, talk about rate of natural increase. Here you focus on the phrase natural increase. So there are three determinants of population change, birth, death and migration. Among these three, birth and death, they are natural determinants of population change and migration is the artificial one. So here uh, we have to focus on natural increase, the increase by birth and death. If there is more birth and less death, there will be increase in population. That is natural increase. Now let's uh, go to the formula first. So rate of natural increase is equal to B minus D by P into 100. Here we know B means total number of live births, uh, D means total number of deaths, and P means total media population. If we subtract B and D, and if we divide it by P and multiply by 1000, we can find a natural increase. So there is another formula as well. RNI is equal to CBR minus CDR by 1000 into 100. Here CBR means crude birth rate, CDR means crude death rate, and here is 1000 and multiply it by 100. So here also you can notice uh, no migration measures are included here. And this is crude birth rate and crude death rate is included, but migration rates are not included here. So this is the formula to calculate natural increase, rate of natural increase. Here also you can see birth and death is included, but migration is not included. This formula, second formula can be written in this way as well. CBR minus CDR by 10. Here is uh, 1000 and here is 100. You can cot 2 0 and here can be 10 remaining so these two formula are same and this one is another one so to find out rate of natural increase either you use this formula or you use these two formula so in this way you can find out the rate of natural increase now let's see what is rate of natural increase according to the formula we can define like this the difference between total live births and the deaths here you can see the difference between total live births and deaths of any specific place and year which is expressed per 100 media population it is expressed per 100 media population you can see here it is multiplied by 100 so you can say per 100 here is media population so you can say the difference between total live births and the dates of any specific place and year which is expressed per 100 media population can be called rate of natural increase the difference between crude birth rate and crude death rate can also be called rni you can say another formula the difference between cbr and cdr can also be called rate of natural increase so when you define rni you can use either this definition or this definition Let's go to another slide. Why is it called the rate of natural increase? So here natural increase is highlighted. I have already discussed about this. <clears throat> While calculating rate of natural increase, migration is not considered. So look here, migration is artificial process of population change. Uh, fertility and mortality, they are natural process of population change, but migration is artificial process of population change. So here in uh, rate of natural increase, migration rates are not included. So it is called natural increase. Only fertility rates and mortality rates are used. It means CBR and CDR are used. This is called rate of natural increase. If you see the expression um, of rate of natural increase, uh, it can be uh, expressed in per 100 media population or you can say it percent. It can be expressed in percent or per 100 media population. Here are three conditions. If there is more birth than death, the value of RNI may come in plus or positive value may come. So which means population is increasing. But if there is more death, 
then what the value may come in negative and that means population decrease but if there is equal birth and death it means the population is stable so now let's go to next measure that is pgr means population growth rate this is very important uh, for the point of view of exam so the numerical problem may be asked from this topic so first let's go for the formula so pgr is equal to cbr minus cdr plus minus nmr by 1000 into 100 this is the formula similar to rni so here in rni we did CBR minus CDR by 1000 into 100. There is no NMR, but here in this case, we can say CBR minus CDR plus minus NMR by 1000 into 100. This plus minus NMR is more here. So PGR uses migration rate. Look here, net migration rate. RNI uses only CBR and CDR, birth and death rates, fertility rates and mortality rates. But this PGR is using net migration rate as well. So PGR calculates by using fertility, mortality, and migration, all the measures. And you can also uh, calculate PGR by using next formula, that is RNI plus minus NMR by 1000 into 100. You can say PGR is the combination of RNI and net migration rate. So you can say RNI plus minus NMR by 1000 into 100. So you have to remember both these formulae. Now, many students are confused why this plus minus is used. It has the very important reason. NMR, when we talked about NMR, we said that NMR, the value of NMR can be both positive and negative. So in the question, if positive value is given, you have to use plus. If negative value is given, you have to use minus so here you uh, plus and minus both signs are used here also you can see same plus and minus both signs are used many students are confused in this open this one so this is only for nmr not for rni many students they use this open sign from rni to nmr so that is not correct so that is great mistake so you have to write rni separately plus minus nmr by thousand into hundred this thousand is for NMR only. Let's go to next slide. Now, when we come to the definition of population growth rate, you can define it easily. The rate by which population of a certain place has been increasing can be called population growth rate. Even this definition says the rate by which population of a certain place has place has been increasing. Sometimes the value of population growth rate PGR can be in negative. So in that case, it uh, denotes the population is decreasing. Now, all the determinants of population change, birth, date, and migration are used. We have already discussed here, and it is uh, expressed in percentage. And PGR can be positive or negative. Its value can be positive as well as negative. So I have already said, if the value comes uh, positive, that means population is increasing. If the value comes in negative, that means population is decreasing. Okay, about numerical problems, I will come up with next video. So we'll only do theory part now. Let's go to another measure that is population doubling time. So you can say doubling time. So when will the population be doubled? That is population doubling time. So if we go to the formula, we can see population doubling time is equal to 70 by PGR. 70 by PGR. The PGR means annual population growth rate. We have just discussed about that. So now uh, population doubling time is the time period at which the population of any place will be double of present population. The time period at which the population of any place will be double of present population. So population doubling time means that that time period, the period of time at which the population will be double of present population. If the population is 1 lakh now, in how many years will the population be 2 lakhs? That time period is called population doubling time. And it is expressed in years. It is not expressed in per thousand. It is not expressed in per hundred. It is expressed in years because it is the time period. Uh, from this population doubling time, the frequently asked uh, very short question is, if the PGR of any place is 1%, in how many years it will be doubled? 
But if the annual population growth rate of any place is 2%, in how many years will it be doubled? This type of questions are asked in one map. So here is the answer. If the annual population growth rate of any place is 1%, the population will take 70 years to double. So you can see the formula. Here you can use 70 uh, upon PGR means 1%. So 1. If you do 70 by 1, uh, what will the answer come? 70 years. If the population growth rate of any place is 2%, in how many years will the population be doubled? You can do 70 by PGR means 2% means you use here 2. So if you use here 2, 70 divided by 2 is 35 years. So in this way, you have to do. So let's go to next one that is dependency ratio. So before talking about dependency ratio, you have to know about dependent population and independent population. The formula is dependency ratio is equal to dependent population by independent population multiplied by 100. So you can see here, the dependent population means age group from 0 to 14 years of children and 60 years and above old people. They are under dependent population. They cannot earn their livelihood. They have to depend on the active population. They are economically passive, so they are dependent population. So children and old people come under dependent population. Whereas independent population means the age group from 15 to 59 years, youths and they are economically active population. This we read in class 9 as well. So here, if you use this formula, look at dependent uh, ratio is equal to dependent population by independent population into 100. So dependent population means population of 0 to 14 years plus population of 60 years and above 60 years. It includes 60 years also and above 60 years of age group of old people. They are dependent population. By independent population means population from 15 to 59 years. They are considered as independent population or economically active population multiplied by 100. So what is the definition of dependency ratio? The number of dependent population per 100 independent population. Look here. The number of dependent population per 100 independent population is called dependency ratio. About dependent and independent population we have discussed. So dependency ratio is expressed in per 100 independent population. It is expressed in per 100 independent population or you can say per 100 economically active population. The next uh, ratio is sex ratio. Uh, the formula of sex ratio is M by F into 100. M means total number of males by total number of females into 100. You can use any symbol here. You can use PM by PF into 100 or you can just say total number of males upon total number of females into 100. Now, how can you define it? The number of male population per 100 female population can be called sex ratio. If you see formula, look here, the total number of males out of 100 females or the total number of males among 100 females can be called sex ratio. So it means if there are 100 females, how many males are there? That is sex ratio. So sex ratio can come in 100. So if sex ratio, if the value of sex ratio is 100, it means that the number of males and females is equal, same. If the sex ratio is more than 100, it means that the number of males is more than the number of females. If the sex ratio is less than 100, it means that the number of males is less than number of females. So look here, it is expressed in males per 100 females. It means if the sex ratio is 100, it means now you can say 100 males per 100 females. It means males and females number same. If the sex ratio is 101, it means you can fill here 101 males per 100 females means in 100 females, there are 101 males means the number of males is more. If there is 99 males per 100 females, then it means what? 99 males out of 100 females means mm, females number is more, males number is less.